Gentlemen, Shaman Headcrack here, and this is The Take. Every now and then, we like to find those gems, those diamonds in the rough that people ain't up on, and put them out there for the world to see, and this is no exception. This young lady hails from Ohio, and she had a rock for y'all. She go by the name of Feral Loco. What up? What's good with it, man? Yo, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. Ohio. For me, yes. A lot of times, people think of Ohio, and they think, what, what, what are the stereotypical things people think of when they think of Ohio? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't really even listen to people what they think. Because you're doing your own thing. Exactly. Now, usually, like, some of the, the standouts are, like, you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Uh, maybe uh, Bow Wow, because he's from Ohio. But it's such a diverse musical landscape yes, with a is. whole bunch of people rapping different ways. Yes. And when your manager put me onto your music, I was really blown away. So tell me your story. Okay, so I started writing when I was 11. I write poetry. Okay. So I've always been a music kid my whole life. Jackson's. Whitney, music, jazz, anything. So um, it pretty much went from there. So my father, he plays all instruments by ear. So I used to go over there and rock out with him and my cousins, you know what I'm saying? Um, so my mother got me a keyboard and it was a rap. So started making beats. So that's what I was doing first, I was producing. Now, I was checking you out on your Facebook. Like, you actually not only produce for yourself, but you also got some, some production credits kind of deep in the game. Like, you literally got a record with the game or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> How did that really... come about? Okay, so I went to Cali last year around this time um, to record some stuff. And Yanni and Duke, Big Duke from Cleveland, they all from Cleveland, Big Head Dennis, they all heard a track I did on one of Yanni's instrumentals called Let Me Be Great. Mm -hmm. So... Got in the studio, they all just blowing my bo drop box up with beats, you know. So um, I was texting Yanni, I had sent him something. He like, you know, that's dope. He like, now put a verse on this. It said, the game. I'm like, what? So we went straight to the studio, laid it down. But it's on release right now. I can't wait to it's hear it. Release. Yeah, I'm excited. Yo, I mean, because your style is dope. And then, like, you know, and there's a lot of, like, you know, self-awareness yes. in your project. Mm -hmm. um, you know, connections even to, like, the motherland of Egypt. So, like, yeah. when, you, when you're thinking of names, because usually they think when you hear Pharaoh, you think of male. And then Loco, crazy. Yeah. Crazy Pharaoh. So, okay. how did you come to, well, like, how so did you put the it, name together? All the Pharaohs wasn't male. It was a, a female Pharaoh, Pharaoh Hatshepsut. Okay. And she rang the land of Egypt. Um, but um, that's how that came about. I thought that was so dope. Um, Loco, I'm, I tie everything I do into mental health awareness. Okay? That's why my, the name of my album is IEP. And break that down. Like, what that so the IEP is the Individual Evaluation Plan. Okay. Um, and that's what they give children in the schools with special needs that need special accommodations. And it's just bringing awareness to that. And, and, you know, a lot of special needs children aren't treated right in the schools and other places. And they don't have a voice. And, you know, I feel like it's, it's always a reason for something, you know, especially regarding the mental health. So I'm going to be that voice. That's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's so easy to cop out because, like, you know, a lot of times when you talk about mental health awareness, you know, it takes work to understand how to cater to people who have these issues. So it's yes. so much easier to cast them, cast them away, mm -hmm. you know, and which is not cool. We shouldn't give up on people that way. So it's dope that you championed exactly. in that cause. Absolutely. And I was a child with an IEP as well. Really? I was. Like, so how did you kind of like get to a point where, you know, it didn't like totally consume your process and who you were and were able to function where some people maybe w didn't have the support structure or whatever to kind of like get over it? I mean, it's not really anything. I saw how I was treated in school because I had an IEP. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that made me rebel even more. So the name of my album is just to show everybody what somebody with an IEP can do. You know what I'm saying? Because we all are talented. Yeah. We all have talents, especially those with mental health. 
Yeah. Issues. And the thing is, like, you know, when you, <laughs> when you talk about, you know, the the, the the term people like to throw around, crazy. Yeah. Crazy sometimes just means they're not on your level, which may be they're above you. Mm -hmm. You know, people usually try to say they're below you, but they a lot of times crazy you. doesn't mean below. It, it, like, I embrace it. Autistic people. Geniuses. Yeah. <laughs> like, Geniuses. Can compute, do math in ways that you can never wrap your brain around with no technology whatsoever. <laughs> exactly. May not necessarily be the best at verbally communicating, mm -hmm. but they'll take a clock apart and put it together. Put it together. Make something else with it. Yeah. You know, and, and I think we have to be careful with the verbiage that we use with certain things. You know, somebody broke something down the other day, like, uh, you know, trying to eat healthy, right? And, mm -hmm. like, you know, become vegetarian. They're like, you know... If we stop calling sides sides, people would be more prone to go with the vegeta you know, <laughs> right. the vegetables on the it's menu the versus dish. you're going with the meat. Because right. like, hey, this accompanies the main meal. Like what if we started calling meat sides with the, right. you know, like would it change the narrative? Who knows? Right. But nah, that's a dope campaign to be on. Mm -hmm. So what would it take for Feral Loco to be the household name that you feel like you need to be? Man, get him on music out there and hurt. That's the hard part, right? Yeah, it is. Because, like, you know, like, <laughs> I, I hear a lot of music. And when your manager hit me, I was like, yo, shorty good. And, like, I said, whenever she come through, like, pull up. Yeah. You know, like, and I'm going to give you the opportunity and I'm going to plug you in as many things as I can. Mm -hmm. um, so this is one step. So IEP is out right now. Mm -hmm. What are we chasing it with? Is it a music video or what? Oh, uh, we putting the team is putting together a real nice show and the information to be available on my Instagram, which is feral underscore loco. Okay. Real soon. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing this madness take place live. Yes. You got sir. some shows coming up? That's what I'm talking about. We putting something together. Okay. Real nice. You definitely got pulled through Atlanta. I'm going to be of there at the course. show. And I'm going to know the songs. <laughs> I'm going to be that person. Like, when, when the beat drop out, you put the mic in the crowd, even it. if it's just me, I'm filling it in. That's me. All right? I appreciate it, man. <laughs> so. You know, people are probably hearing you for the first time, seeing your face for the first time. At the end of the day, it's about them bars. I want you to give it to them raw, uncut, a cappella, and let them know what you're working with. Okay. Miseducation, this elevation, take dedication. I'm very patient with variations of Mary Janus. A scary game, darkness, every lane. Hearts are going insane, sparking up the flame, twisting up the one thing. Soul ties, but hoes lie. You know I be so high, I ghost write my own rhyme. Don't fuck with me, I got a family to feed. Dying to see the fruits of my labor fall to my feet. It's all on me, niggas be playing, but I got it honest. Fuck the robotics, it's niggas dying, and I'm still around it. It's open season for bleeding, niggas. Is pleading for guidance, miserable thieves and mischievous seeds, believing the gossip plotting and watching the nigga, they think they got it. Politics not acknowledging, we surviving by stretching a dollar. We tend to wobble between thoughts and caskets, hearts so savage, wishing we can part from average bars. A long rod, a rigid piece of wood that feels the penitentiary up with niggas from the hood. I got keys that's paramount and crucial for my breed. Running through the street, busting to the beat, fucking in the Jeep with no sleep, bitch. I creep, climbing to the mountaintop. So I can see her rising, hypnotizing Niggas know about that glow Gotta give it what you got and be about that dough Or for sure Yo. <laughs> It's Feral Loco yes, sir. She got something to say She got something to say We need more people in the game like you and We out there, man Yeah, you, it, know. It, you know, it's like you ever watch any of the like, Star Wars or anything? A long time ago, I saw the first episode Okay, that's what's up You're not really in, because you called it an episode but <laughs> there are other Jedi's like yourself out there, and we gotta find them. It's all good. I'm running into For young sure. people all the day, all the time. Like, never don't even know what Star Wars is. Right. But like, there are other people, and we just gotta magnify the glass and put the light on people yes. like y'all. Cause there's a lot of us out here that have something to say, yeah, and you man. just proved that again, man. Cleveland, Ohio's own Pharaoh Loco. Get used to this face. You're gonna be seeing it a lot, and I can't wait to see what you drop next, we are. Thank you, man. I really appreciate you. Pharaoh Loco, y'all. This is the take. Yeah. Mm-hmm.